Welcome to Credit Matters TV. I'm Marta Castelli, Managing Director of Latin American Ratings. With me today is Diego Campo, Director of, Corpor of Corporate Ratings. Welcome, Diego. Hi, Marta. Diego, Latin American forest products companies have announced uh, significant projects in the, in the recent time, and they're investing heavily. You, you published an article uh, talking about the impact that these projects would have on the companies. Could you tell us more about the study that you performed? Yeah, basically we, we forecast the financial performances of this group of companies, assuming that these projects will, will take place in the time frames announced. Uh, for that, we, we did some, uh, we have to make assumptions on uh, how much debt they will take on to proceed and uh, other operating assumptions uh, to reach a conclusion on what will be the impact in their financial profiles. We are talking about a significant increase in capacity. Will these projects be easy to execute? There are going to be many challenges, of course. Um, our major concern is financing schemes, of course. Uh, right now, two out of seven projects are already launched, which are uh, Arauco and Stora Enzo's joint venture in Uruguay, Montes del Plata, and Susanos Maranio in Brazil. There may be one or two more getting approval soon, but it is too early to assess whether they become, all of them become real or not. If the projects are completed, what will be the impact on prices? We really don't expect much impact on prices because uh, although the, the increase in, in supply will be substantial, about 10 million tons uh, for, for all of them, uh, that is about 70% of current capacity, uh, we think that the pace of the increase will be gradual. Um, these projects will, uh, will commence operations between 2013 and 2016 and probably up to uh, 2014, the increase in, in supply will be of around uh, 1.5 million tons per year, which is about 2.5% of, uh, of growth year on a yearly basis. And that's very much aligned with, with our expectations on demand growth. So um, we don't expect much noise from that. Will there be any impact on the credit quality of the companies? And if so, will it be different for Chilean players and Brazilian players who are the bulk of our rated universe? Of course, we expect uh, balances to suffer. Uh, but uh, Chilean issuers are rated in the investment grade categories. Uh, instead, instead uh, Brazilian issuers are uh, clustered in the double B category. And the main differences between them is, the, is in the financials. Brazilians are more levered and have shown uh, more uh, riskier financial policies in the past than Chile. And so uh, that is the, the root of the differences between them. Uh, in terms of businesses, they all share very, very robust businesses. Although, of course, there are differences between productivity, scale, and uh, and product mix. So Diego, to conclude, will the ratings be impacted? So far, um, the only two ratings incorporating these expansions are, of course, Arauco and Susano. In fact, that was one of the reasons why we recently downgraded Susano. I would say in summing up that um, if balance sheets weakens us in the study, then uh, ratings will suffer. Thank you, Diego. For more information on, on this, please look for the study on Ratings Direct. Thank you for watching Great Matters TV.